Is it tomorrow? Oh, fuck. Okay. Anyway, all right. Uh, we're going to talk about the deadly fire that broke out at the Iranian deadly. prison and updates on what is going on in Iran. Some of you probably know this already. A lot of you have asked me to cover this. Um, Masa Amini was uh, executed by uh, the morality police uh, after she was apprehended. Um, this is an ongoing issue within the regime. Obviously, there's also a lot of uh, you know external factors that contribute to the instability in the country. But overall, uh, overall, it does not matter. Uh, the the cause is just. Uh, and and since then, uh, other people have also uh, other people that have been protesting have also been executed by the state as well. Um, her real name is Kurdish. It's Jin. Okay, sorry. Everybody, stop yelling at me. That is the hashtag, okay? Calm down. We are having a conversation that is American-centric and American-facing. Calm the fuck down, okay? Let's continue. At a notoriously brutal prison in Iran as anti-regime protests have been sweeping that country. Now we're in their fifth week. Among the prisoners, two Americans. The State Department has expressed urgent concern about their welfare. Our chief global affairs correspondent, Martha Raditz, has that story for us. Good morning, Martha. Good morning, Robin. This morning, families in Iran and here at home are desperate for information about loved ones inside the Evan prison, many of them political prisoners and protesters who have been standing up to Iran's repressive government. The fire was massive. This video posted by local activists recording the explosions and volleys of gunfire reverberating from the hillside prison above Iran's capital. Iran's government allowing state TV to see the charred aftermath, saying eight prisoners who they described as robbery suspects were killed and more than 60 suffering smoke inhalation. The Iranians blaming a fight between prisoners for the blaze, but with restrictions on the reporting, it is nearly impossible to know the extent of injuries or the cause. Among the thousands of prisoners inside, Iranian-American businessman Siam Aknamazi and Imad Sargi, both accused of spying. This morning, their families saying the two men have reportedly been moved to a secure area in the prison and are safe. The State Department making clear Iran is responsible for their safety and are following reports from Evan Prison with urgency. Outside the prison, angry protesters lighting fires of their own as the rage in Iran's streets mounts. The protests following the death of Masa Amini, who died in police custody after being arrested for violation of Iran's strict dress code for women. More than 240 protesters have reportedly been killed in the police crackdown. Iran's ultra-conservative president blaming the U.S., saying, it is our belief that America is behind the majority of destruction, terror, riots, and chaos in the region. And yeah, no, dog. I mean, look, does America benefit from it? Does America uh, sometimes push and pull in certain directions? Absolutely. But this is one of those instances where it is very clear cut and very obvious that the fundamentalist government of Iran is getting to a point paired up with the American sanctions that are causing economic instability and volatility within the country uh, uh, is, is creating a legitimate movement of protest and has created a legitimate movement of protest. Okay? It's true. It's true. It's fucking ridiculous to act like young people in Iran are like pro, uh, uh, pro the... the Islamist fundamentalist government like um are the external factors such as economic instability uh a part of the reason why so many people are uh so many people are angry certainly okay but it, that doesn't change the reality of the the honesty of this movement that doesn't change the reality of the underlying cause of this movement it is ridiculous it is a it, it's completely completely unacceptable and for the for the record, like we had a hand in this fundamentalist government 
taking power in Iran. I know everyone's always going to fucking say, oh my God, like Hassan, everything goes back to America. But yes, the British and the American uh, uh, the operations in Iran are the reason for why a, a fundamentalist government was installed in Iran because they were seen as the strongest opposition force against Western involvement. That is the truth. And it has uh, maintained its power partially as a consequence of America refusing to allow Iran to cooperate in the international global marketplace. You put more sanctions on a country with the hopes that they will, there will be like a massive protest. Sometimes you might not like what those protests uh, end up uh, creating, though. The movement that those protests end up creating. Shaq Lone, I don't want your fucking dumbass. Is it dumb? Religious fundamentalism was always strong, especially in Islam. You're epically fucking... I'm a Kurdish Iraqi citizen, so of course I'm going to fucking shit on Islam uh, attitude in the chat right now while we're having a larger fucking conversation, okay? We get it, bro. We get it. You love America, okay? You want to suck and fuck America, okay? I'm Turkish, not Iraqi. Motherfuckers would be like repeating Sam Harris verbatim. So fucking annoying. Where does the fucking religious fundamentalism come from in Islamic countries, dummy? Where? Do you feel like the Western state has no hand in this? Why is it that pre-Western involvement, half of these religious fundamentalist states, all the way from fucking Egypt to Iran... For some weird reason, before American involvement, before Wahhabist extremism running rampant through uh, by way of Saudi Arabia throughout the fucking MENA region, why is it that these countries all have photos where you can very clearly see uh, even socialist governments or socially uh, democratic governments uh, that were, you know, hyping up feminism in the Western girl boss sense even? Why are there so many fucking photos of how different things were from like the 60s, from the 50s? And then all of a sudden, you know, uh, after Western involvement, uh, these countries have all become incredibly fundamentalist. And then you go, that goes ba way back. How do I know? Well, if I know and you don't know, why the fuck are you talking shit and repeating dumbass talking points like religious fundamentalism was always strong in Islam? That's not the case. Christian fundamentalism and Christian supremacists have, like, run the fucking world for far longer than, like, Islamist fundamentalism has overtaken the MENA region, okay? There are so many examples of this. When we talk about, like, civil liberties and shit, I literally openly fucking show you the Ottoman Empire decriminalizing homosexuality in the 18th fucking century. And it wasn't even criminal before then. They just decriminalized it because Western states at the time were straight up fucking criminalizing it. Holy shit, man. When will you motherfuckers learn? <clears throat> the world, but the U.S. has made very clear America stands with the protest. For the record, this is precisely why I think, I hope, that uh, America does not involve itself in Iranian affairs unless it is to just stop with the fucking insane sanctions on Iran that sometimes render, uh, that sometimes stop Iranian citizens from getting access to fucking vaccines, for example, that stops Iranians from getting access to medication, for example, Okay.
I don't think a single person inside of this uh, community is like, oh man, I ride with the fucking mullahs. You know what I mean? I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of the Iranian government and, and the way that they uh, operate within uh, domestic policy. Like, oh yeah, it's so great. Having fundamentalist, uh, having like Islamic uh, fundamentalist rules that are, are inherently and incredibly oppressive. Uh, that's, a, that's a really good thing. Like no one thinks that. Why the fuck would we fight against that here in America when it's Christian supremacy, okay? When it's Christian uh, fundies doing the same shit but uh, not being as successful, okay? And then turn around and be like, no, but it's cool when Iran does it. No, it's just, it's not cool. And it's not like America gives a fuck about, you know, uh, authoritarian, uh, uh, theocratic, <laughs> authoritarian, theocratic monarchies or authoritarian, theocratic forms of governance that are incredibly brutal and incredibly oppressive. After all, some of our allies, you know, Saudi Arabia, Israel, these are our biggest allies in the region, right? They love that shit. They're a big fan of that. You don't see them fucking supporting protests inside of Israel, supporting protests inside of the kingdom of Saudi Arabia. So what's up with that? No, it's not a genuinely held belief by America. It's just they fucking hate. Uh, they they, they want to overthrow the Iranian government and install a government that is more favorable to the United States and their interests. And those protests are only escalating in Iranian towns and cities and beyond. For the first time ever, an Iranian female athlete representing her country at a climbing competition in Seoul appeared without a hijab, something Iran requires of its athletes even outside of Iran, Robin. All right, and Martha, we know. Which would benefit Iranians as well. You think putting a fucking pro American puppet state in Iran would benefit Iranians? Yeah, it, it was so beneficial when that happened, right? Remember? Oh, wait. No, it was overthrown and and and, and overtaken by anti-Western, uh, the, the most anti-Western fucking uh, leadership, which is kind of the reason why we're here right now in Iran, you know? We already did that one time, dummy. Shut the fuck up, dummy. Jesus Christ. Look, man, I'm Turkish, okay? I see this. I see this in Turkey. It happened in Turkey. A coup attempt happened in Turkey, which ended up galvanizing the support around Recep Tayyip Erdogan. And, even, uh, and then he immediately fucking uh, did a constitutional referendum and turned the country into a presidential, uh, uh, in, into a presidential system, reinforcing his support, and consolidating power. That literally happened. A CIA asset tried to do a coup d'etat, Fethullah Gülen, okay? He had his tentacles all over, uh, you know, every level of Turkish government, including the military, including the police force, including the fucking court systems. And they tried it. It failed. And it ended up only giving Erdogan more fucking power and breathing five more years of life into his authoritarian government. Okay? And you guys know I don't like Erdogan. I hate him. Erdogan and his administration is part of the reason why I can't go back to Turkey. All right? But myself included and every fucking anti-Erdogan person in the country recognizes that out of uh, an American-backed puppet state, like Fethullah Gülen's puppet state, versus Erdogan's uh, incredibly authoritarian state, Erdogan's incredibly authoritarian state is preferable to the American puppet state. That's just the truth. This is a guiding principle that many people have. 
because they recognize that they do not want an American-backed, uh, also fundamentalist, religious leader. But it's so hard for Americans to see that because no matter what happens, you consider America to be infallible at your heart, okay? You see America's actions as like a good thing overall. You look at Turkey and you go, well, I mean, America is still better off. And it's true. But the only reason why America is better off than all these other countries is because there is no other America fucking up shit in America, okay? Hey, yo, Ock popping off on you right now? What? What do you mean? DJ Academics? For what reason? What is he, not appreciative of my fucking takes on, on Iran? Like, I don't understand. Oh, because of what I said about Kanye? Oh, here we go. Uh, academics a big Ahmadinejad fan yeah he's he's out here supporting oh he's live that you know what I mean because I think he's going through the same thing too like trying to figure out how do you say something that wouldn't be politically correct I see everybody say yo check out that Elon tweet we about to check it out right now Hold on, I can't move off this page because they privated the video. Oh, my God. Elon Wait, what did Musk, he say? I posted this tweet just now. So He tried to say you don't know shit about the streets, but he made the war in Chirag way worse. Law, mad corny. Yeah, I mean, he's right. I don't know anything about the streets. I mean, that's not fucking untrue. I'm, I'm a literal white dude. Grew up in fucking Turkey. So, you know. But... I'm not talking about the streets when I'm talking about fucking, you know, white supremacy and anti-Semitism. He used to be a fan, but he thinks you're shooting off the hips and he lost respect for you. Wait, what? There is no fucking way he was a fan of mine, dude. There's no way. I think DJ Academics is just, def uh, he, he's just defending Kanye because Kanye West said Drake is the best. He dead ass just said it. He's farming you for viewers. He's making shit up if he said that shit. Anyway, whatever. Clip it or it didn't happen, guys. He said he thinks he got mad titties for a 31-year-old. <laughs> oh, no. No. Why are you paying attention to this guy when you have 10X, uh, when he has 10X view reviewers? What do you mean? It's DJ Academics. Like, no matter what, he has uh, a, a, a far bigger outsized audience outside of his immediate Twitch chat. You guys are so fucking hyper-focused. You have horse blinders on with respect to Twitch. You make it seem like DJ Academics is not like, a, you know, a, 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 almost an institution. I know that you have been traveling to Iran for many, many years, and you're familiar with that prison? I am, Robin. It's impossible not to notice the massive barbed wire fences that surround it up in the mountains. You're never supposed to photograph it or even turn a camera toward it. And of course, the stories from inside over the years are truly frightening, which makes these protests even more courageous, Robin. It really does. Always appreciate your reporting, Martha. Thank you. Well, hey there.